I have the Girl Power Kitty sticker sheet in my shop which is just cats and like hearts and moons and things like that and that's kind of the same theme I want going through with this shop update. I really really love this design and I also really love having two different designs like I kind of don't want just one design. So those are the plans that I have so far but I really want to show you what I've been working on at the moment as well because so far I have managed to kind of complete the notebook that I was working on. I still feel like I need a few days just to kind of like look it over and just make sure that I'm actually fully happy with it. I think the one thing with doing so many like animal drawings is that I'm not typically used to doing it. I feel like it's been a while since I last drew something that was just solely an animal. Like you saw before, I have the Girl Power Kitty sticker sheet in my shop which is just cats and like hearts and moons and things like that and that's kind of the same theme I want going through with this shop update but I do like second guess things a little bit and I really just I think it's like based in fear and like worried that no one's really gonna like it and I really hope they do because I just really want to try and make more cat related items like I've been telling you I'm still gonna draw people and stuff but I feel like it's what my heart is kind of wanting right now and I feel like it's really good to have more of a selection in my store because I know that not everybody likes buying things that have like little characters on them. They'd prefer to have things that have like animals, their favorite kind of animal on them. And being a cat person, I just thought like to do cats would be perfect. And although I'm not hugely a dog person, it is something that I really want to do for a future product or something. I want to draw my dog Lumi and have him like a little character in my shop and he can be like a sticker sheet, he can be pins, whatever. And I just really want to try doing stuff like that. I do think that the animals are going to do better than people but I honestly am not too sure because at the end of the day the people aren't just like copies of other people they're like making a whole character at the moment I have no like characters like people characters going into this shop update at the moment it's mainly cats my heart really wants to draw people because obviously it's what I'm used to. I do actually have that Love Witch sticker sheet that's going into the shop but that's something that's already been made and it's been kind of like waiting around for a while so I'm not actually at this time making any artwork that is going to be a character person. It would be really cute to make a almost like human character to go with a shop update like almost a human version of this little cat. Like I've said to you before this is going to be Gigi cat and she's gonna be based off of my cat. I think I have like three days before I have to order all these products. Even then I feel like I'm leaving this all way too last minute because the shop update is supposed to be due in the I think it's the last week of August that I planned it to happen and I'm not sure if the uh, manufacturer is gonna be able to get all the products here in time. So I really wanted to include like this little rainbow somewhere in the design as well and honestly I just at first I really struggle sometimes 
As an artist, you go through like quite a few drafts sometimes of what you want to see before you get it right. So this was the first one and I kind of felt a bit like, I don't feel like you can really see the rainbow enough and I don't feel like it's really obvious that it's a rainbow and it looked a little bit weird to me. So this was the original and that's where I was going to originally have it. But you just have like this section here and this section here. It doesn't look very rainbow like. And then finally, I settled on doing something kind of similar like this having something slightly behind a part of the drawing and that's when I've settled on this let me know what you think about this design I really like including the rainbow I feel like it adds to the whole vibe of the drawing like the full-time daydreamer aspect of it so I feel like this is the design we're gonna go with this is my mock-up template for it so what I need to do now is I need to actually finalize this design and color it and everything and then I'm gonna add the text, I'm gonna add it in through Photoshop. And as you can see here, I made the eye a little sparkle. I think what I'll do is I will make the sparkle myself on Procreate, then I'll import that as a transparent PNG and I'll do a little stroke around it so it matches up to the writing. I think there's a slight possibility of me changing my mind but for now this is the idea that I have in mind that this is going to be the acrylic pen so really doing the tote bag design first is really going to translate into this as well as a sticker. The things I haven't yet sorted out is these two items here. This is going to be a Juju Cat sticker pack and I don't actually have any designs in mind for what's going to be included in that. Lots of little white cats and probably something very similar to this like having some hearts included in there maybe some moons maybe some rainbows I think that could be really cute as well and then for this deck I've written here 10 or 20 cards I'm really not sure what it's going to be 20 cards is going to be obviously more time and effort so the final product is going to be more but because it's a mini deck i don't want people to get confused and think because it's a higher price it's a bigger deck because sometimes people don't really look at what size the cards are they just assume that they're going to be like a standard deck of cards but i really want this to match up with the whole theme that i have going with the mini fortune deck and i want it to be like affirmations and kind of like fortune telling in a sense so if I was to do 20, I'm obviously going to have 20 designs to kind of figure out. At the moment, I've got these and I feel like because it's just quite simple when you think about drawing an animal like this in a cartoon style it's quite simple i feel because it is simple that hopefully it's not going to be too difficult to actually get a bunch of designs drawn up and made up quickly So I'm busy looking at this design for my notebook and I'm not sure if the colors are just right. I'm also slightly rethinking this design. I really, really love this design and I also really love having two different designs. Like I kind of don't want just one design on everything. The tote bag design, I don't want that on the tote bag, a sticker, a pin and a notebook. I kind of want it to like change up a little bit, but I do really like this cat. So I don't really know if I do want to change it. So far we have the notebook all done and the tote bag design all done. So I need to alter the tote bag design just a little bit to make it into the pin design. And then because with the tote bags, you can have more than one design. I am thinking about maybe making a different design. What I had in mind was I could use the notebook cat design and I could have like writing around it that says something like maybe like fight like a girl like in the girl power kitty stick sheets. It feels like we've made a lot of progress but at the same time it feels like there's still so much to do. So I think I'm almost finished drawing the things that I need for my manufacturer. There is one thing that I do really want to do and that's a lanyard keychain. But right now I'm not entirely sure what the design would be so I think I'm going to do a little bit of sketching and then see what I come up with. I'm really excited for this because it's something different to put in my shop as well. 